Converge and dis discriminant validity are two terms that you often see after a factor analysis. What exactly is convergent validity and discriminant validity is a bit difficult to understand because these concepts were introduced without proper definitions. The concept of discriminant validity and convergent validity date back to a paper by Campbell and Fisk from 1955. And in that article, uh, the authors presented a concept of multi-trait, multi-method matrix, which is a, a set of correlations when you measure uh, at least two traits each with at least two methods. And uh, they argued that some correlations in the table and lack of correlations are evidence of convergent validity and discriminant validity without really explaining what exactly convergent validity means beyond the empirical criteria. And the same with discriminant validity. So uh, the, the current uh, meaning of these terms has uh, somehow evolved from the original meaning because we don't re really do multi-trade, multi-method matrices. It is uh, very difficult to get two, two independent measures of the same construct. For example, measure two constructs with paper and a pen first and then with online form next. So that's not a practical uh, way of measuring for most people. So the current practice in um, discriminant and convergent validity is that uh, discriminant validity refers to whether uh, two scales measure distinct constructs. If two scales measure the same construct, they don't have discriminant validity. Then convergent validity refers to whether indicators measure the same construct. So it's kind of like used as a synonym for uh, internal consistency. Uh, these are used uh, also very inconsistently. So the definitions are a bit uh, difficult to understand. Uh, people use them without the definition. They, they are defined in a different ways in the literature and they are also applied differently. This is a, a good example from uh, an article by Carson and uh, they say that uh, some authors argue that a correlation as low as 0.28 of two indicators indicate convergent validity. So if two indicators are correlated at 0.28, then uh, they measure the, the same thing. They also point out that uh, some indicators, uh, some uh, authors argue that correlation as high as 0.75 between two indicators is uh, still not high enough to claim that these indicators are not distinct. So the, the current practice with these terms is that uh, you, you have a number and then you make a claim and there's really no, uh, uh, no connection of how high the number is. And because the discriminant validity and convergent validity concepts are not well defined, then it is very difficult to interpret what that correlation means. So you have to have an interpretation for the statistic. For composite reliability for alpha, you have an, uh, an interpretation that it's a reliability of a sum of indicators. Uh, for these correlations between indicators, uh, it's very difficult to interpret them directly. Therefore, my take on, um, on this is that uh, it's important to assess whether uh, your scales measure distinct things. If you do a factor analysis, each scale should load on one, on each indicator should load on one factor and two scales that are supposed to measure two distinct things should be two factors. If that is the case, um, then you have evidence of both uh, discriminant validity and convergent validity and you don't really have to uh, look at any of these correlations.